Here's what it is now. So I'm at a point in the build here now where I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a bunk because uh, I'm going to use this ice shack to spend overnights and stuff so I'm trying to determine like I mean it's only inside the 2x3 framing it's uh, it's only 42 inches so I don't even have uh, 4 feet right so if I, if I were to build a permanent bunk in here like in place it would take up a lot of space so I'm thinking on this side on the floor I'm gonna do three holes with covers I already ordered the covers from Amazon they're like uh, circular hatch covers for boats and they unscrew kind of so I got three of those coming so we'll do three holes in here in the floor and um, I think I will do um, a fold up bunk or a fold down bunk that way I could just have lawn chairs in here you know like the folding lawn chairs the cloth ones kind of because they'll be more comfortable too instead of having like two or three people sitting on a bench uh, if I have the lawn chairs we can kind of face like you know, I could have my back in this corner and someone over there, someone here. If I have three people in here at a time, maybe the wife and daughter or whatever. Or my two sons or something. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll do a folding bunk. Anyway, I'll just use, a, if I use a, a fold away bunk, I will use uh, just a camping mat. Like a half inch thick foam mat for to sleep on you know so so anyway I could have that tucked away fold it up when I want it when I you know when I want to go to sleep or whatever and uh, I'm gonna need room for some shelving a little bit of shelving uh, like a cooktop something for a cooktop here I'm still not 100% sure on the heating situation I don't think I'm gonna use a wood burner. I might use uh, like a coffee can with some candles or something because it's 32 square feet. You know, once everything is sealed up in here, and uh, you have a few candles going for heat, it'll be awesome. I think it'll be perfect. You know, you know if uh, I think it'll be good for me anyway. Like it'll be. Uh, like I mean, I, I've winter camped before, so this would be no different. I don't, I won't even really need any heat. But if I have Lukey with me, then I might be a little more concerned about keeping it a little bit warm in here 
night time especially if he's out running around getting wet in the snow and stuff and then coming in for the night you know so uh, probably have a coffee can kind of thing with some candles and uh, you know the reason I say a coffee can is because I'll keep it nice and safe in the coffee can the candles will be in there if they burn down or tip over we don't have to worry about a fire right because <laughs> you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to start a fire in here you know and I think for cooking I'll have a uh, butane stove uh, the windows I have will open so I won't worry about uh, gassing myself out or anything yeah and some shelving for like uh, I don't know for the I'll, I'll need some room for the blue eddy to power everything in here like the lights and the uh, and recharging batteries and and uh, recharging the fish finder things like that and I want some shelving maybe for uh, you know like coffee and tea and things like that for some uh, cookware a little bit of cookware and things like that so yeah so uh, I guess uh, I'll get started on framing out the inside here, figuring out what is going to go where. So six feet by 20 inches is what my uh, mat is. So I just made the bunk, same thing, right? And then it'll fold up like this. And then fold down. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure. Put these blocks for support so when the bunk folds down this is where it will sit on these and I'll make sure I put some here some here and then on that corner on the outside corner I'll have a leg that comes down on the on the corner of the bunk Me and you? I don't think so.
something like that. So these are only going to be six inch holes in the floor and my auger is uh, four and a half inches so get out the way. Uh, drilling them out until I get the covers anyway so I just wanted to kind of put them in place and see uh, you know about shelving and stuff like that so at least I know where the holes are going to be now so this is kind of what I need to uh, make shelving for I have a few of these I want to make some shelves for these so they're not going to fall out you know when I'm towing this thing so I don't know what I'm going to do there, but anyway, I'll have a few of these for uh, like tea and coffee and stuff like that. I have this little stove. This is the stove I'm going to use for cooking in here. So I'll need like a cooktop kind of place for this. And I also have the Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy power station. I still haven't done a review on this, but it's coming. This is the this is the machine that's going to run the whole ice shack. I mean, you could pretty much you could pretty much run anything in your house on this besides like uh, you know the hot water tank or the or your range stuff like that. But like anything else, when your power goes out, you could plug into this. It's 800 watts, so. It's pretty awesome rig. I've been trying it out and stuff, and I have to do a video for a Blue Eddy on it. And uh, you know, I've I've used power tools and everything with this uh, with this thing, so it's pretty awesome. So keep an eye out for a review on this one, and uh, I'll do go in depth on what it can do and stuff. But for now, it's going to uh, go in here somewhere. And like I said, I can recharge everything on my, uh, you know, it's going to run the lights. It's going to recharge the fish finder, all my uh, camera batteries and stuff, things like that. So this is the sponge that was in the box with the Blue Eddy. This fits in there perfect. So I can, once I uh, figure out how I'm going to mount this or, or uh, build a shelf for it, then... We can have this uh, with some bungee cords and stuff to keep it protected when I'm towing the towing the ice shack, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not gonna hold up, bro. But Try it. here. 
here. So that'll keep the bunk up. We don't need it. that corner out so it fits around there. these screws I'll just cut off with the zip cut like I done with the screws on the door I'm sure that'll be all right all right there we go that's what I need. That's what I need. Got two containers here, one here. A little bit of storage stuff. Stove here. Blue Eddy down in the corner. That should be uh, sufficient enough. Probably have some uh, coat hangers and stuff, obviously. But yeah. Anyway, she's coming along now. It's actually starting to look like something, especially the interior here. I'd say once I get the interior finished here, get the windows installed, we'll probably get her outside. I may have to uh, tip her down sideways because she's a little snug there. I don't think she'll go straight out here, as you guys uh, seen from the last video. Anyway, guys. Uh, uh, that'll be it for this part and uh, I'd say the third part will be the final part of the build so uh, yeah thanks a lot for everyone uh, commenting on the last video there part one of the build and seems like a lot of people just pretty excited to uh, see it finished and see it being used and I am as well of course so yeah thanks a lot for watching again and uh, we'll catch you on the next one take care